When we conceived of R&D, the idea was simply to create a space that would be, that may become a sort of a central hub for Honolulu's creative community. And we knew that that community was very diverse in many ways, um, geographically very spread out, because that's sort of the nature of our city, um, but also diverse in terms of the fields that it practiced or worked in everywhere from fine arts to architecture to entrepreneurs and startups and media folks. And, and so really we just wanted to create a hub that would operate in sort of the conventional working hours of the day. I believe the little phrase we were thinking of was a place where people could do their best work, um, whatever kind of people they may be, but really because it's the nature of our organization, our first sort of core audience was, was the creative community. And actually we, we wanted to be in Kakako simply because it was geographically central. Sense of creativity about it, so we really hoped that the creative community would come, but it was open to anybody. What we try to bring into our gallery space and into our bookstore selection, we would like it to just be a conversation with everything else happening in the contemporary world. Actually, when we started even looking at this particular space and really like thinking about our build out and the day we came in here to do demolition up through the first month of our opening, we were kind of the only tenants on this block. Um, we had our very good friends at the walk-in store next to us um, and that was about it. And you know, in less than two years, the block has changed a lot, but there's still kind of, I guess, a long ways to go if there's sort of an end.